क्वेश्चन नंबर 28 इफ अल्फा एंड बीटा आर द रूट्स ऑफ द इक्वेशन x2 5x 6 द इक्वेशन विद रूट्स अल्फा प्लस बीटा एंड अल्फा माइनस बीटा इज फोर ऑप्शंस आर गिवन टू अस फोर इक्वेशंस आर गिवन वी हैव टू चूज द करेक्ट आंसर नाउ द गिवन इक्वेशन इज x2 5x 6 0 and alpha beta are the roots of this equation so first we have to find alpha and beta now we can factorize this polynomial so this implies x square minus 3x minus 2x plus 6 is equal to 0 we have split the middle term in such a way that product of those two numbers should be 6 and the sum is 5 so we have selected 3 and 2 So that three into two is six, and three plus two is five. Now this implies x can be taken common. X minus three minus two is taken common. It is x minus three. This is equal to zero. X minus three into x minus two is equal to zero. Means we have obtained two factors, the product of which is equal to zero. So either x minus three is equal to zero or x minus two is equal to zero. If x minus three is equal to zero, then x is equal to three, and if x minus two is equal to zero, this gives x is equal to two. So we have obtained two values of x, two roots of this equation. So let alpha is equal to three. First root we have taken three. Beta is equal to two. The second one is two. Now Alpha plus beta will be what? Alpha plus beta will be three plus two. That is equal to five. And alpha minus beta is three minus two. That is equal to one. Now we want the equation whose roots are alpha plus beta and alpha minus beta. So that equation will be x square minus sum of the roots. Into x plus product of the roots is equal to zero. That is the equation. Now sum of the roots is five plus one. That is six. So equation will be x square minus six x plus product of the root five into one is five. This is equal to zero. So this is our required equation. Our required equation will be x square minus 6x plus 5 is equal to 0, and hence here option A is the correct answer. If alpha and beta are the roots of the equation x square minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0, the equation with roots alpha square plus beta and alpha plus beta square is four options are given to us. Now we have seen. That the equation x square minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0 has roots 3 and 2. This we have seen in the previous question. So alpha here is equal to 3 and beta here is equal to 2. These two values we have obtained in the last questions. So now alpha square plus beta will be equal to 9 plus 2. That is equal to 11. And alpha plus beta square will be equal to three plus four, that is equal to seven. So sum of the roots, sum of roots will be equal to eleven plus seven, that is eighteen. And product of the roots is equal to eleven into seven, that is seventy-seven. Now what will be our equation? Our equation will be x square minus sum of the roots into x plus product of the root is equal to zero. This implies x square minus eighteen x plus seventy seven. This is equal to zero. This will be our required equation. and hence our option c here is the correct answer 
क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी इफ एल्फा एंड बीटा आर द रूट ऑफ द इक्वेशन एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस फाइव एक्स प्लस सिक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो द इक्वेशन विद रूट एल्फा बीटा प्लस एल्फा प्लस बीटा एंड एल्फा बीटा माइनस एल्फा माइनस बीटा इज फोर ऑप्शन आर गिवन नाउ वी हैव सीन द इक्वेशन एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस फाइव एक्स प्लस सिक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो हैज टू रूट विच आर थ्री एंड टू दैट इज एल्फा इज equal to 3 and beta is equal to 2 this we have seen in question number 28 now first we will evaluate alpha beta plus alpha plus beta this will be equal to 6 plus 3 plus 2 that is equal to 11 then we will evaluate alpha beta minus alpha minus beta this will be 6 Minus three minus two, that is equal to one. So sum of the roots will be equal to eleven plus one, that is twelve, and product of the roots will be equal to eleven into one, that is eleven. Now, if we have two roots given, then the equation will be. x square minus sum of the roots into x plus product of the roots is equal to zero. This is the equation if the roots are given to us of these values. So x square minus twelve x plus product of the root is eleven. So plus eleven. This is equal to zero. Will be our required equation, and hence here option A is the correct option. Question number thirty-one: The condition that one of the roots of a x square plus b x plus c is equal to zero is twice the other. Four options are given. It has been given that one root of this equation a x square. Plus b x plus c is equal to zero is twice the other. So let us say first root is alpha, then second root will be two times that is two alpha. One root is alpha, then another root is twice the first root that is two alpha. Now we know that sum of the roots that is alpha plus two alpha is minus b upon a. This we know, and product of the root. That is alpha into two alpha is c upon a. These two conditions we can write. Now we are to eliminate alpha from these two equation. Then that condition will automatically come up. So three alpha from this equation can be written minus b upon a. And here two alpha square is equal to c upon a. Now this equation gives us alpha is equal to minus b upon three, and this value of alpha we can put here, so alpha will be eliminated. So two times minus b upon three a whole square is equal to c upon a. This we obtain simplify this. So this implies two minus square will become plus, so it will be b square upon. 9 a square is equal to c upon a. A cancels this square here. Cross multiply. So 2 b square is equal to 9 a c, which is our option c. 2 b square is equal to 9 c a. So here option c is the correct answer. Question 32. The condition that one of the roots of the equation. A x square plus b x plus c is equal to zero is twice the other is four options are given to us. We have been given that the equation A x square plus b x plus c is equal to zero, which is standard quadratic equation. It has one root which is twice the another root. So let alpha is the first root, then second root will be three alpha because another root is three times the previous. Now, sum of the roots, sum of the roots is equal to alpha plus three alpha, 
and we know it is minus b upon a and product of the roots that is alpha into 3 alpha is c upon a. Now we are to eliminate alpha from these two equations. The first equation gives us 4 alpha is equal to minus b upon a and second equation gives us 3 alpha square is equal to c upon a. From this equation we can calculate the value of alpha. So alpha is equal to minus b upon 4a and this value of alpha we put in second equation. So therefore 3 into minus b upon 4a whole square is equal to c upon a. Alpha is eliminated. So now the condition will come. 3 into minus square is positive. So it is b square upon 16a square is equal to c upon a. The square cancels this a cross multiply. So this implies 3b square is equal to 16ca. So here which option is correct? Our option a and c both are same. So here I take option a. Here it is minus sign. So here option a is correct. The condition is 3b square is equal to 16ca.